My name is Lou Santana, and I'm co-director of the Right Question Institute in Cambridge, uh, Massachusetts. And today, I would like to talk about the work of the Right Question Institute, the skill of question formulation, uh, which is a skill that is foundational uh, for learning, for advocacy, for taking action, and also for strengthening democracy. So the, um, my organization, the Right Question Institute, began uh, many years ago, back in 1990. Uh, Dan Rothstein and I were working in a uh, community, or, community north of Boston. Uh, and we were working with low income and immigrant parents. And as we worked with the uh, families, we heard from them that they were not going to the schools because they didn't even know what questions to ask. And we gave them the questions, and it was a mistake because it was not about giving the questions, but it was about developing the skills so they could ask questions in all kinds of settings and situations. And that work has gone a long way. So what Dan and I have been doing uh, for the past uh, 25 years or so is to this has been to distill what is essential for building that specific skill. And it has been a journey of trial and failure, but today there are over 300,000 teachers around the world who are using our strategy. And we have seen different applications of it. Uh, it is not only applied to education, but it's all in the classroom, but it's also applied to healthcare, social services, civic and voter engagement, and so on. So right now we have a strategy that can be applied to multiple fields. And part of the work that we have done is to make it easy to learn and easy to teach. And that's the reason why, or one of the reasons why there are so many educators who, who are integrating the question formulation technique, which is, is a specific process to produce, improve, and strategize on how to use questions into their classroom uh, practice. And they are doing it, many of them, with no mandate, mandate from above. They are just running with it and sharing it with students. So a part of our work has been to democratize the building of skills, and specifically the question formulation skills. And uh, we see that the skill of question formulation is critical to strengthening uh, democracy. You can imagine a form of government where uh, people are not allowed to ask questions, but in a democracy, that is one of the most important things to do. Citizens should think critically, they should inquire, as well as uh, students as well, and workers. And what we have done is to uh, provide a process that is very simple to build that skill of question formulation. So you can apply it uh, beginning in kindergarten to higher education. And you can apply the skill of question formulation across subject areas as well. So teachers from K to 12 can build those skills, increase skills that students can apply to real life. When students are in high school, for example, um, teachers can also apply the skill of question formulation to build skills for civic action and participation. And I have an example from a high school teacher uh, from, um, from Los Angeles who used the question formulation technique to engage students to think about an issue around social justice. So she wanted to engage students in thinking about systemic injustice before they were introduced to some fiction and non-fiction um, uh, reading throughout this, this semester. And she used a question focus. Um, in order to use the question formulation technique process, you always need a topic we call a question focus. And she used um, disciplinary policies of our society perpetuate injustice. And students ask questions about it. And when they ask questions, they uh, focus on the system, on the root causes of the problem, what could be done about it. 
An example of one of the questions was what type of training teachers receive in order to address injustices, which I think is a very profound uh, question that can be explored and that uh, uh, they could, people could learn quite a bit out of, out of it. So um, when she was doing that, she was uh, making that connection between the classroom and many things that are happening outside the classroom as well. So we see that direct connection and that opportunity for uh, teachers to continually build those skills, the habit of mind for democratic uh, participation. So I would like to leave you with a quote uh, from uh, Septima Clark, a great educator and civic uh, rights activist uh, from the 50s. So Septima was a teacher in the South Carolina uh, public schools and after uh, 17 years of work, she was fired from her job due to her affiliation with the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People. And when she was fired, she um, founded the citizenship schools to teach African Americans how to read and write, which was um, a skill to have in order to advocate for uh, fair wages, but also to have to be able to vote. And Septima um, said that uh, we need to be taught rather than to study. We need to be taught to study rather than to believe to inquire rather than to affirm. And I think that that is something to do to strengthening our democracy. We, and it's needed more now than ever. Or it's needed now more than ever. <laughs>